Hey everybody, it is I, the Sleeve Singer, coming to you on a lazy, lazy Wednesday afternoon. I guess I could sit up a little bit, right? Alright, here you go. So I can make sure you don't catch that light from the window behind me. How's that? Oh, that's even better. So I hope everybody is doing well. I am being very, very lazy today. Um, I had to teach at 5.30 this morning. I am now a certified kickboxing instructor through Mesa Tra Mosa sorry, Training. Um, used to be called Body Training Systems, but now I am um, certified in three disciplines. Power, which is a, like a weightlifting class. I'm currently not teaching that right now. Um, blast, which is like a step class. Um, but not that dancey stuff. We are all athletic. And um, kickboxing, which is called group kick. So, happy about that. Um, I actually came back. If you remember my last video, I talked about um, coming back from Aruba early to take the training. And it paid off. I got certified, I'm going to say maybe about two or three weeks ago. I'm very happy about it and I'm um, excited to teach it. It has rejuvenated my skills and um, keeps it interesting, you know. Um, so I actually missed my two-year surge anniversary. Um, my surge anniversary was August 1st and I didn't even make a video. So this is actually my 25th, 25-month post-op update. Um, I had my yearly appointment with my surgeon. Um, he was okay with my weight at the time. I was not. I was at like 174 on his scale, maybe 175. Um, and that was like at 4.30 in the afternoon. You know, you weigh heavier in the evening. So that morning I weighed probably like around 174. So yeah, his scale probably had me at 175 or something like that, 176. I am right now at 171. Um, this new training has challenged my body and has changed the shape of it. So I'm really happy about it. Um, the advice that I would give to anyone right now who is either thinking of having surgery or has had surgery and has maybe fallen off the wagon or you find yourself struggling, what works for me is, um, my phone's ringing. I'm going to pause you for a second. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. Um, anyway, uh, so the thing that I would tell someone is to, if you are struggling right now or um, find that you have fallen off a little bit, would be to find a form of accountability that's going to keep you honest. You know, at two years out, and I talked about this a long time ago when the shift started to happen from my tool and more to my my um my mind, my mindset. And that is <clears throat> there is still going to be restriction, at least it is for the sleeve if you don't abuse your tool. Um but as far as the things we choose to eat, it's still going to be left up to you. Um this is by far not the easy way out. I would say that I have been successful thus far because I have so many forms of accountability. And I keep myself on a very short leash. Um, my um, accountability points are making videos with you guys, which I don't do as often um, as I did before. I needed them more before, if I can say that. <clears throat> to keep me accountable because I wasn't able to do these other things that I'm getting ready to list, which was exercising, teaching aerobics like I am now, um, buying clothes and being comfortable with the size that I bought, not needing that um, extra room, just in case room, you guys know what I'm talking about, um, and just making sure that I'm buying clothes that fit, that if I continue on a bad path, they will no longer fit. That's a form of accountability. What else? Um, I have friends that I text and they text me. Um, 
but the biggest thing that drives me I would say is the working out factor I mean my gym was closed for nine days and uh, for renovations and you would have thought I lost my best friend um, I found myself lost um, trying to find ways to exercise um, which really resulted in my running which you guys know is not my favorite thing. I am a big fan of group fitness. I think it keeps you accountable there because um, it makes you, you, you even get some friends there, you know. Uh, and for me, people like really love my classes because um, I keep people entertained. I mean, that comes naturally for me. But I'm also letting them know that it's okay to leave the kids alone for an hour, the husband alone for an hour, even the dog alone for an hour. My, my point is you got to have your time. Um, because this journey, even though you have friends and family that may support you, it's still your journey. You have to, you know, make yourself accountable to yourself. Um, you were the one that laid out on the table. Or if you haven't done it yet, you're thinking of doing it. It is not anything to take lightly. This is not um, something so that I want to wear a size 4 or 5. This is something so that I can live a healthier lifestyle for the long haul. And um, like I said, working out is a big piece of that for me for staying successful. Um, I I will say that you know, I used to walk outside of my gym because I got my car, I get my car, my car's oil changed on the parking lot where my gym is. And um, I actually um, used to stand outside of it because I used to teach here, you know, 10 years ago or so and say, I've got to get back there. And when I heard about weight loss surgery, I knew it would be a vessel to help me get there. Um, but I knew that I needed more mental work than anything. And being two years out, if I did not have my mindset the way that I do and all of the accountability, accountability factors that I have, I would have to tell you it would be a struggle. Um, I, um, you know, when you go into hiding, I think that you get in trouble. Many of us are closet eaters. Um, many of us are embarrassed of ourselves, you know. And it's this world, well, even in this community, should be a non-judgmental non community. But unfortunately, it's not always like that. And um, I just know from me personally... That if anyone ever wanted to inbox me on Facebook, by the way, my name is The Sleeved, and then my last name is Singer. Um, if you ever inbox me and told me you were in trouble, you would get no judgment here. Because I feel very lucky and blessed that I have the accountability that I have in order to teach and keep myself on top of the game that way. It also keeps my metabolism going, and um, it just keeps me alive, so... Um, anyway, I'll end it there. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, again, my weight right now is between 171 and 172. I am 25 months out, and this was the best decision I made. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. So if you're thinking about doing it, and you've done other things, and it didn't work for you, weight loss surgery could be your, your way to a healthier person. Um, but you gotta gotta get the mind right and you gotta understand what you're undertaking. This is not a diet. It is a lifestyle change. No one will be successful with any tool if you don't change certain habits in your life and make it a priority. What's so funny to me as I end my video is that I often get teased that I go to the gym every day. But no one asks me, why do you go to work every day? Because this society does not put, you know, working out or exercising or taking care of yourself as a high priority. It's always about making money, doing things like that. But none of that stuff matters if the inside of you is not feeling good. And I would not trade the way I feel for the world. So 
Weight loss surgery is not the short answer to a bigger problem. Find the bigger problem, work with the tool, and it'll work with you. You guys take care, and any questions you have, feel free. See ya.